We know that some vehicles move faster than others. Even the same vehicle may move faster or slower at different times. We are going to learn about speed under two situations. First situation here, two vehicles are moving on a road in the same direction. We can easily tell which one of them is moving faster than the other. Yes, you are right. Red car is faster than white car. How did you decide which object is moving slow and which one is moving fast? The time taken to move by objects in a given distance can help us to decide which one is faster or slower. Here, red car cover the 100 meter by 4 seconds. But the white car cover the same distance by 6 seconds. So, the distance is same. But taken time is different. Since red car covered the distance within short time than white car, we say red car is faster than white car. Okay, let's go to the second situation. Here, the same two cars move. But, in a particular time, the both car reach different distance. Here, how you will decide which car is faster. Yes, here the red car is reached 100 meter, at same time white car is reached 80 meter. Here time is same. But, the red car covered distance is larger than white car by 20 meter. Therefore, we come to the conclusion, red car is faster than white car. Now you will have almost understood about speed. Before calculating the method of speed, we want to know some more thing. When we say, a car is moving with a speed of 50 km per hour, it implies that it will cover a distance of 50 km in one hour. However, a car seldom moves with a constant speed for one hour. Practically, moving a car in constant speed is not possible. Not only car, even any of object, mostly does not move in constant speed. In fact, it starts moving slowly, then picks up speed and again stops moving slowly. So, when we say that the car has a speed of 50 km per hour, we usually consider only the total distance covered by it in one hour. We don't care whether the car has been moving with a constant speed or not during that hour. The speed calculated here is actually the average speed of the car. Here, we shall use the term speed for average speed. So, speed is the total distance covered divided by the total time taken. Let's repeat once again our examples. In first situation, speed of red car is equal to its total distance of 100 meter, and it is divided by total time of 4 seconds. So, the speed of red car is 25 meter per second. Similarly, the speed of white car is equal to 100 meter divided by 6 seconds. So, the speed of white car is 16.66 meter per hour. So, our analyze is right. Red car is faster than white car as per formula. Okay, let's go to the second situation. Here, total distance for red car is 100 meter and total time is 4 seconds. Then the speed is 25 meter per second. Similarly, for white car, the total distance is 80 meter and total time is 4 seconds. Then the speed is 20 meter per second. Here too, our analysis right. Red car is faster than white car. So, we can guess which one will be faster and which one will be slower. But, by using this formula, we can say at what speed objects move and how much speed is different between them accurately. Now you will have understood regarding speed. Okay, let's see in next.